Hey everybody, it's Simone, and as you might know, I really love movies, and I would love to start talking about them on a regular basis, like an episodic type of thing, um, but I'm not sure when I'll be able to do that. It might be May by that time. However, I figure I should do a few practice episodes, and so here is one. I'm going to talk about Spider-Man and the cinematic uh, possible situation with him and Sony and Marvel. Now, I personally am not very well versed in cinematic lore, but I know that it would be really cool to have Spider-Man in the Marvel film uh, Captain America Civil War, which will be out May 6th of 2016. I know that it would be probably really cool to have Spider-Man in that, because um, in the comic book series, to my understanding, Spider-Man was like the middleman torn between Captain America and uh, Iron Man, so that would be awesome. And um, this is what I think in terms of Sony. I think that Sony is trying to recover from all of these problems that it's having, and it's like, you know, a lot to handle right now. And if I were Sony, I would make a deal with Marvel Studios to return the character of Spider-Man to Marvel. I don't know if this would be temporary or permanent, but I would make a deal to return the character to Marvel. And this would be the deal or somewhere, something like this, if I were Sony. I would say, Marvel, if you want the character of Spider-Man back, you have to fulfill uh, certain conditions, and then we'll give you the character back. Not just give us some money and whatever, but fulfill certain conditions. And the main condition that I suggest is um, that Marvel negotiate with... that Marvel negotiates with um, Nick Robinson, who is an actor. Um, he's about 19 years old, I think. And if Marvel can negotiate with Nick Robinson and work something out for him to play Spider-Man, then I think that should be a condition for Sony to give the character back. Now that is really extreme, it sounds really extreme, but the reason why I think this would help is because, th I think this would help Sony, is because Nick Robinson is one of the stars of The Fifth Wave, which is an upcoming Sony film based on um, a novel. And the way that they're, the way that they've made the choices for the fifth wave so far, um, I feel like it has potential to be a really big franchise, a really big young adult book to film adaptation franchise. It'll be out in January 2016, which is, you know, good because it's like between, you know, the last um, Hunger Games film and the third Divergent film, so it'll be out in a pretty, you know, nice timing, and I believe that to have Nick Robinson uh, play Spider-Man in some Marvel films would possibly spur some of Marvel's fans to go and see The Fifth Wave, even though they may not be fans of the book or etc. So hopefully it would help with the marketing of that. And, I mean, maybe they could put more conditions on this too, conditions that have something to do, to do with marketing specifically, and um, I'd have to think about that some more. And I could say a lot more on the topic, but I actually have to go. So, please comment, tell me what you think of this, am I completely crazy? And, you know, if you think I'm completely crazy, then that's actually good, because I believe that film is best served by people thinking out of the box. But, Wow, that sounds really conceited. No, anyway, am I crazy in a good way, crazy in a bad way, crazy in both? Whatever. Just please tell me what you think. And thank you for watching. See you soon.